Hi everyone, Ethan Dre here with another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're just going to talk about the three different types of anchor points that come with using the pen tool. The three different types of anchor points include corner points, smooth points, and cusp points. As you can see, I've created some imagery here to give you examples of each of these anchor point types. And we're gonna briefly talk about the characteristics for each of these anchor point types. With our corner points, it's pretty self-explanatory. At our anchor points, we have sharp corners and we have straight line segments connecting each anchor point. Smooth anchor points allow us to use control handles to curve the line segments connecting each anchor point. Cusp anchor points are more or less a combination of the two. As you can see, we have an anchor point here with a straight line segment coming off of it, as well as a curved line segment coming off of it. I'm gonna to return to our document that has our rough sketches of each of these graphics in it, and we're going to get started creating these shapes. The first shape we're gonna create is our corner point, or our mountain shape. I'm going to zoom in by holding in Command Plus or Control Plus on the PC. We're just going to select the rectangle tool, believe it or not, and we're just going to uh, ignore our pen tool for right now. So we're going to make this shape completely out of the rectangle tool and using some bits and pieces of our pen tool to modify this shape. Let's check some settings before we create the shape. First I want you to make sure that you're in shape mode, and for right now we're going to leave the fill to none. The fill is essentially the color of the shape, but if we have a color of our shape, we aren't going to be able to see our original drawing to illustrate over top of that. So for right now, we'll leave that empty, and we're going to set the stroke, which is the outline of our shape, to black. About three points for the stroke is fine. You can increase or decrease that if you have a hard time seeing the stroke. We also have different stroke options here. We have aligning the stroke inside, at the center of, or the outside of your shape. And we also have different cap options. I'm going to leave the cap option to rounded for right now as well as our corner options, which I'm going to leave as a sharp corner. Okay, I'm just going to left click and drag to create the shape, and I'm gonna resize it a little bit by hitting Command T, that way we don't have to mess around with too many anchor points whenever we're trying to match up the illustration of these mountains. Let's accept those changes, and we're gonna talk about the path selection tool and direct selection tool very quickly. So keyboard shortcut A, with the path selection tool or the black arrow, you can click and select the entire path and move it about your document. With the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, this allows us to select individual anchor points. And as you can see, we can move these anchor points about in our document. Okay, so it seems that we need a few more anchor points. So we're going to go ahead and add three anchor points here for the two valleys and the peak in the middle. We're gonna to return to our pen tool, keyboard shortcut P, and we're going to add anchor points. When adding anchor points, make sure that you are hovering over top of the actual line segment. That way you're not creating a completely new shape. So I'm just going to left click on my line segment to add each point. And then I'm going to hit keyboard shortcut A so I can select each of these line segments and anchor points and move them into place. Okay, as you can see, we have some smooth points that we're working with. However, we want to convert those to corner points. The tool we're gonna to be using is the Convert Point Tool, and it's hidden underneath of the Pen Tool or Keyboard Shortcut P. All you have to do to convert a smooth point to a corner point is hover over top of it with the Convert Point Tool and click once. Okay, so we're just going to left click each of these anchor points to convert them to corner points from smooth points. Okay, from there we're gonna just choose a fill color for our shape, and let's go ahead and just choose a light to mid-tone gray and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stroke off. That way we don't have that border there around our shape. Next, we're gonna use the pen tool and smooth anchor points to illustrate one of the petals on this rhododendron flower. I'm gonna place my first anchor point in the center of the flower and work my way out. With the first anchor point, you're just going to left click as if you were creating a corner point. And for my second anchor point, I'm gonna to move towards the outside of the petal. I'm gonna left click, hold down, and drag. As you can see, two control handles are created, indicating that we've made a smooth anchor point. I'm going to continue this process all the way around my entire petal, being sure to click, hold, and drag for each anchor point. I'm going to complete my shape by returning to the very first anchor point I created. Now that we have the shape of the petal created, let's go ahead and choose a fill color. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a really light yellow, and I'm also going to leave the stroke on, but I'm gonna make it a little bit darker 
That way it matches our pedal a little bit better. From here, I'm going to return to our direct selection tool or keyboard shortcut A. Remember the direct selection tool allows you to select individual anchor points. I'm also going to zoom in so I can get a better look at my control handles and my anchor points. I'm gonna go ahead and select the anchor point on the outer edge of the pedal. And notice whenever I select the anchor point, it's filled in with the blue color. Whereas the anchor points that are not selected are empty. If I wanna select multiple anchor points, I'm just gonna hold in shift and continue to click on the anchor points I would like to select. Notice with each anchor point, there are a set of control handles. These only come with smooth anchor points. The control handles are the dots at the end of these straight lines coming out of the anchor point. The line connecting the control handle to the anchor point is called a lever. Think of your control handles as a seesaw. As one goes up, the other one goes down. By dragging the control handle towards your curve, you're pushing the focal point of your curve inward. At the same time, you're pushing the curve at the other side of your anchor point outward. If you only want to edit one line segment at a time, you're just going to hold in Alter Option and click and drag one of those control handles to wherever you'd like it. This way you don't have that seesaw effect where the control handles are rotating around the anchor point. Once again, if you hold in Option, that's going to return it back to the seesaw effect where moving one control handle moves the other control handle as well. The last type of anchor point is a cusp point. As I mentioned before, this is more or less a combination of corner anchor points and smooth anchor points. With the pen tool selected, I'm going to make sure my fill is set to none and my stroke is set to black with the weight set to about three. I'm just gonna add my first anchor point as if I were adding a corner anchor point by left clicking once. And I'm going to add my second anchor point towards the northern panhandle of the state. Now for my third anchor point, I'm actually going to be adding a smooth anchor point. To do this, all I'm going to do is left click and drag, just like we did with our pedal. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to trace around the shape of the state. Okay, here we have another opportunity to use a cusp anchor point. For right now, I'm just going to click, just like I would whenever we're adding a corner point. That way I have a straight line segment in between my current anchor point and our next anchor point. From here, I can continue again making smooth anchor points to match the curvy shape of the state. And here we have one last opportunity to use a cusp point. Once again, I'm going to left click once. That way I'm creating a corner point and I'm just going to add my next anchor point. And as you can see, a straight line segment connects the two. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my shape by returning to that very first anchor point I created. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a fill color. That way we can see the shape a little bit better and I'm gonna change the stroke to a blue and increase the size of that just a little bit. Now, as you can see, we're looking a little wonky here, so I can always go in and choose that direct selection tool. That way I can click on my individual anchors and move those around accordingly. That's it for today's tutorial on the different types of anchor points when working with the pen tool. Today we reviewed corner anchor points, which allow you to have straight line segments in between your anchor points. We reviewed smooth anchor points, which allow you to have curved line segments between your anchor points. And we also reviewed cusp points, which are kind of a combination of both. I hope everybody enjoyed today's tutorial on the three different types of anchor points. As always, please check back for more tutorials. This is Ethan Dre, and thank you for watching.